Hello and welcome to Punar View. We have an exciting update on the China's ambitious Chang'e 6 lunar sample return mission. China's Chang'e 6 lunar probe has entered its circumlunar orbit, confirmed by the China National Space Administration on Wednesday. The lunar probe performed a near-moon braking procedure at 10.12 a.m. Beijing time, before entering the planned orbit. During its flight, Chang'e 6 underwent a critical maneuver called a near-moon braking procedure. This process reduced the probe's relative speed to below the moon's escape velocity, allowing lunar gravity to capture it into a stable orbit around the moon. With communication relayed by the Keqiao-2 relay satellite, Chang'e 6 will subsequently adjust its orbit's altitude and inclination. Once optimal conditions are met, the mission will initiate a separation of the orbiter returner module from the lander ascender module. The lander ascender combination will then perform a soft landing within the South Pole Aitken Basin where it will execute the planned sampling and return mission from the far side of the moon. The probe is expected to bring back 2 kilograms of samples from the far side of the moon, the first endeavor of its kind in the history of man. In 2020, China collected samples from the near side of the moon during its Chang'e 5 mission. Interestingly, China's Chang'e 6 spacecraft appears to carry a previously undisclosed lunar rover as part of the mission's far side exploration plans. Chang'e 6 launched on a long March 5th rocket from Wenchang early May 3rd. The mission will attempt to bring back to Earth the first ever samples from the lunar far side. China's disclosed objectives include a landing site and science payloads for the mission ahead of launch. However, following launch, the spacecraft's maker, the China Academy of Space Technology, revealed an image showing a rover attached to the mission lander. Little is known about the rover, but a mention of a Chang'e 6 rover is made in a post from the Shanghai Institute of Ceramics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It suggests the small vehicle carries an infrared imaging spectrometer. Now let's talk about the Chang'e 6 mission timeline. Chang'e 6 reached the moon late Tuesday Eastern, or early Wednesday UTC, May 8 and entered lunar orbit. China has yet to publish a clear, official timeline for the mission. It is however expected to last 53 days from launch till landing, according to information published by the Deep Space Exploration Laboratory under the China National Space Administration. Lighting conditions over the target landing area within Apollo Crater will likely not be immediately suitable for a landing and surface operations. Sunset over Apollo Crater will occur early UTC May 13th, according to Moon Observation Software. Sunrise will occur May 28th, meaning Chang'e 6 will likely attempt to land early June. This means the spacecraft will spend more than three weeks in lunar orbit before attempting to land. Timing of the attempt will be dependent on the spacecraft's orbit and limitations regarding surface lighting conditions for generating power. Sampling operations will, as with Chang'e 5, likely be wrapped up within 48 hours of landing. Samples will be sent into lunar orbit via an ascent vehicle, which will then track the Chang'e 6 orbiter. Based on the earlier mission, the pair will likely rendezvous and dock around two days after launch, with the ascender to be discarded a further couple of days later. The orbiter would then prepare to leave lunar orbit at a calculated time. It would then release a re-entry capsule just ahead of its return to Earth, around June 25th. The orbiter would likely fire its engines to send the spacecraft onto a secondary mission, if it had remaining propellant. 
The Chang'e 5 orbiter visited Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 1 and entered a lunar distant retrograde orbit as part of extended missions. If successful, samples delivered by the Chang'e 6 mission could change our understanding of the Earth and Moon. They could also provide new clues as to the history of the early solar system. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.